book haul for you guys and not just any books Halloween themed books you guys as you may know I am a huge bookworm I absolutely love to read I have been reading since I was a little girl it's always been in my nature my kids also love to read and flip through the books and also love story time so we have grown quite the collection in our Halloween books you guys I do have a Halloween book haul on here that I did a few years ago, so I'm going to leave a link to that video down below. I'm also going to leave a link down below to all of our fun Halloween themed videos, you guys. I made a Halloween playlist, so definitely check out those videos down below. Not sure what videos are going to be up before this video, but this year we do have a pumpkin patch video. We have a vlog going to Boo at the Zoo. Um, I've also made a video what's in my kids Halloween baskets that I made them this year and also a Halloween fall Timu decor haul you guys so definitely check out those videos I will leave a link down below to any videos that are already posted and out and ready for you guys to watch so definitely head down to my description box to see some other Halloween themed videos you guys so I am super excited to bring this haul to you guys if you don't already know, I am a homeschool mama. I have a eight-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. I currently homeschool my eight-year-old, and, and I have been doing so since he was in preschool. I am also um, homeschool preschooling my three-year-old as well. Um, so books in this household are very much needed and very much welcome, and we read every single day, whether it's being implemented in our homeschool curriculum or for story time before bed. We are always reading. So what I like to implement in our homeschool curriculum is I like to find activities and worksheets online that can go with the corresponding book. So for instance, I'm going to show you guys um, one of the books that we are actually going to be reading um, today. And this is Arthur's Halloween, you guys. This is by Mark Brown. Absolutely love Arthur. I grew up watching Arthur. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, this is a PBS Kids show. And there's also books. They also have chapter books. And this book is an amazing, amazing book. Such a classic. Um, so here is what it looks like inside. This is a fun read, you guys. And I also love implementing books where I can find the movie or the TV show to go along with it. So what we'll do is we will read the storybook first and then we will watch the movie or TV show, whatever they have, if there is one, right after. And then I like to implement activities or worksheets, you guys. So. For the Arthur's Halloween, I found this for my eight-year-old, and this is Arthur's storyboard. So, we get to talk about the setting, the characters, the problem, and the solution. Getting in that book comprehension, you guys. And then we dive into the Halloween character itself. It says, turn this candy corn into a Halloween character. After decorating it in a costume, write five words that describe your new character. So we will be learning about adjectives here, and then you can write about your new Halloween character. On this back side is called Halloween Connections, and it wants them to write a connection you made to this story. It can be a text to self, text to text, or text to world connection. I really, really like that. That is something that we are implementing in our homeschool curriculum is how can you relate to the story? Or did this story help you help remind you of anything that's happened in your life? Maybe something that you've seen, something you've read, something you've done. Um, so I absolutely, absolutely love reading books, watching the corresponding movie or show, and then having in some type of activity or worksheet. Now, I also do like to implement a lot of like Halloween arts and crafts. Um, so I do try to find an, an arts and craft project corresponding to the book, but if I can't, that is totally okay. We will just do like a regular Halloween craft, you guys. I will have this um, worksheet linked down below for you guys if you want to use this um, for your own homeschool needs or even just for your kids for something fun for them to do. And I will also link down below some other fun Halloween themed worksheets and activities and arts and crafts for you guys. Um, I get a lot of my um, 
inspiration off of Pinterest. So a lot of the worksheets and activities and arts and crafts that I do do with my kids, I usually find on either um, Teachers Pay Teachers or um, Pinterest. Um, so I will leave a link down below if you are interested in any of those activities, you guys. Um, so without further ado, I want to get right into this haul, you guys. We have so much fun books, you guys, and our Halloween book collection has definitely grown. So I'm going to start off with some baby toddler board books and then we will get into the more like kid range books. And then I also have some chapter books here um, for I would say up to maybe fourth or fifth grade. Um, my eight year old is currently in the third grade. Um, so yeah, I want to go ahead and show you guys all of our homeschool Halloween books. I am super, super excited. I have a whole shelf on this other side dedicated to all of our holiday books. So I have a section for Christmas, I have a section for Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, all of the major holidays I have a cubby for. Um, so I am super excited to show you guys our Halloween book haul and hopefully these books can get implemented in your own homeschool household or even just for fun you guys so starting off i am going to go through our board books and we have quite a few board books here so the first one is blippy's happy halloween so i don't know about you guys but my kids absolutely love blippy and they started watching blippy like when he first came out and um, to see how much he has grown since then is really awesome to watch. Um, so it is a little bit broken here, a little wear and tear, um, but they absolutely love this book and this is what it looks like inside. Super cute little fun book, you guys. Next up, this is a new book that was added to our collection. Um, Baby Girl actually got this for her birthday as a birthday present, and it is Goodnight Goon. So this is a parody to um, Goodnight Moon, if you've read that book. It is super, super cute. We actually just read this last night. The illustrations are so good, and they're so spooky. And I really love these Goodnight Like Moon books because it is so creative and the kids they get to you know try to figure out where um the items that i'm am reading about and where they are located um at in the story so like for instance it says two hairy claws so they can you know look around in the storybook and kind of find where those two hairy claws are poking out from so i really love this book it was a really good book definitely recommend Next up, you guys, this is honestly probably all of our favorites, especially Brody's. Brody's sitting over here on the little chair watching me film this video. Spooky Pookie. You like this book, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's silly. Yeah. <laughs> so, Spooky Pookie. And this is by Sandra Boynton. I guess I should be giving you guys the authors. Um, so, for The Goodnight Goon, this is written by Michael Rex. Michael Rex and I'm gonna assume the Blippi book is written by Blippi himself although it doesn't say an author on here um, but um, spooky pooky Sandra Boynton has become I'm sorry if I mispronounce some of the author's names um, but her books are amazing my kids love them we have quite a few of her books um, and we are trying to collect all of her collection that she has um but this is what it looks like inside super fun little cute board book all of the kids love it and as you can see um there's some other um pookie books here that you can pick up um so definitely recommend this book is so much fun this is one of those books that we can read over and over and over again. Another book by Sandra Boynton, and this is a new book that has been added to our collection. Um, so I don't know if my What I Got My Kids in Their Halloween Baskets video is going to be up before this video, but if it is, I will leave a link down below. Um, but I bought this for Baby Girl for her Halloween basket this year, and this is called Boo Ba La La La. So this was a super fun little read. Um, this actually came in my book outlet order. Definitely be on the lookout for my 
book outlet haul that I'm going to be doing. Book Outlet is a new book site that I found and I am absolutely in love with. It is a pre-owned, pre-used online bookstore. Um, so I got that off of here, off of there, um, and the order came in yesterday and all the kids went bonkers over wanting to look in the box. So we did dive into it um, and we went ahead and read this book. So this was also another cute little um, Sandra Boynton book. We have this book, Don't Push the Button, a Halloween treat written and illustrated by Bill Cotter. This book is so much fun. I remember when I bought this book for Benjamin and there, we also have the Easter one of this. Um, so I'm pretty sure they have a bunch of different holiday ones. Um, but basically it really kind of engages your kids and you know, it'll say, oh, I guess I can't stop you push the button and say trick or treat. So they get to ring the doorbell and say trick or treat. This book is super engaging. So on every page you have something like that where it's push the button or they say something. Um, so this definitely keeps the kids interacted and engaged throughout the entire story. So absolutely love this book. Another new book to our collection, you guys, is this Peter Rabbit trick or treat book. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love Peter Rabbit. This is by Beatrice Potter, and this is a, Peter Rabbit is just amazing, you guys, all around. Um, so this is a new book, we actually haven't read it yet, but the illustrations, you guys, are beautiful. So beautiful, I absolutely love it. I love that vintage look of the rabbits, so, so cute. Um, we do have the actual regular, Peter Rabbit um, treasury book. So it has a bunch of different stories inside. Um, so this is a fun little book that you guys will want to pick up this year. Um, so I do want to mention that a lot of my books either come from thrift books, thrift stores, um, book outlet, and Walmart, um, sometimes Target. But majority of my books do come from thrift books. If you don't know what thrift books is, I'm going to go over thrift books at the end of this video, and I will also go over book outlet at the end of this video for you guys as well. So stay tuned if you are interested in knowing what thrift books and book outlet is. Alrighty, so moving on. Classic book, you guys, Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Um, Broom on the Broom, super fun. They actually have a little like movie of this. I believe it's on Netflix. I'm pretty sure you can find it on other platforms. Um, and this is also a really fun illustrated book, you guys, that has a lot of corresponding worksheets and activities that you can find online. So I will definitely be linking some activities and worksheets down below for you guys as well definitely check out this book. It is a super fun book and it has a lot of repetition in it, which I absolutely love for homeschool. I love having that repetition, especially for my three-year-old because when, every time I read him a story, he automatically wants to read it again right after me and hearing him use the words that I just read to him because there's a lot of repetition in it is a great way for him to start learning how to read, you guys. Another new book that I picked up is this My Book of Spooky Surprises. Boo! Super cute. We actually already read this book last night. It was really, really good. Um, I got this off of Book Outlet, and even though it says Walmart here, like I said, Book Outlet is a pre-used bookstore, online bookstore, so, um, some of these books might have come from Walmart or Target or, you know, all kinds of different places. Um, so I got this off of Book Outlet and I didn't pay more than like two to three bucks for it, you guys. And you can see here that is originally $7.18. So I absolutely love these books. Um, who is this by? This is um, Tiger Tales. Not sure who the author is. Oh, this is by Jonathan Litton. The kids love these books. Um... I was trying to show you the other one. Oh, here we go. So here is our little big fish book. And as you can see on each page, it just like gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Love these books. These books are so much fun. I definitely want to collect all of these books um, by the Tiger Tales. Um, but this was a super fun book that we read last night, you guys. All of the kids enjoyed it, even Baby Girl. After I was done, she sat down and was just flipping through the pages and smiling at them. And then I was just pointing, saying, that's a pumpkin, that's a kitty cat. 
and she absolutely loved it. So here on the side, it tells you what this book can offer to your child. So it enhances hand-eye coordination, encourages parent and child interaction, develops reading skills, and promotes language development. So I absolutely love books that can bring an educational purpose besides reading to my children's lives. So super fun board book there. Next book that we have here is Monsters Come Out Tonight by Frederick Glasser and illustrated by Edward Miller. They actually picked this up at Marshall's, you guys. Um, so this is a lift the flap book. So on each page, there is a little flap that the kids get to open. I absolutely love lift the flap books because it gets the kids engaged. They get to interact with the book. And my kids absolutely love being able to lift the flap. That is their job throughout the whole story. And they absolutely love that and getting to see what is behind the flap. So super fun book. Definitely recommend you guys. Honestly, I'm going to recommend every single book in this haul, um, so I guess there's really no point in me saying that over and over and over. You guys, this is a fun, fun series, The Little Blue Trucks Halloween, written by Alice Shirtle and illustrated by Jill McElmry. Sorry, again, if I am not pronouncing authors and illustrators names right i am trying the best that i can but this is also a lift the flat book and you guys the little blue truck is one of my favorite children's books they have so many different ones we actually own quite a few of the little blue trucks um story books um so inside are also lift the flaps as you can see and the illustration, you guys, is just so beautiful. I absolutely love this kind of illustration. So cute. Pick this up for your kids, you guys. This is one, another one of those interactive um, storybooks for your children. Love, 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 love. And there's also a lot of repetition in this book as well. Those are all of my fun board books for babies and toddlers. You know what? Even all of these board books, my eight-year-old loves as well. I also love them. So we're going to move on to more of the like kid books. So I'm going to say five and up. Um, so the first one here is Dragon's Halloween by Dave Pilkey, you guys. So if you have heard of or read Captain Underpants, Dogman, all of those books, the same author wrote these books, you guys. And there are a lot of Dragon's books. I want to say there's a cartoon of this. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. I might be thinking of something else. But I could swear that there was a cartoon that goes along with these. I have to look into that. But like I said, this is by Dave Pilkey. Absolutely love Dragon. I definitely want to pick up more of the stories from him. But here is what it looks like inside. Absolutely love it. And it's Dave Pilkey. Come on, Dave Pilkey makes amazing stories. So I definitely did not expect anything less from him. Um, but Dragon is something that I have been growing up on. I used to read them as a little girl. Um, so super fun read, you guys. And also, this book is also, I believe it's like a chapter book. Yes. So there are small little chapters in here. You can see, like, how many words are on the page. So this is a fun beginner chapter book for kids who are just starting to get into chapter books, you guys, a good transition. All right, this book, you guys, is a new book that dad picked up for the kids this year. And this is Monsters at Work, Meet the Monsters from the Employee Files of Monsters, Inc. It includes stickers and a poster. Um, doesn't say who the author is. Let's see if I could find the author inside. So obviously copyright of Disney, um, but I'm not sure who wrote it. So inside, you guys, it basically kind of goes over every single monster that works at Monsters, Inc. and gives you some information about them, um, which is really, really cool. Um, even has some diary inserts there from the monsters themselves. Um, it, did, it does come with a poster, which is pretty cool. Monsters, Inc. bringing you the power of laughter. So that's pretty cool. 
we'll have to take that out and put that up in the kids rooms Brody's already gotten into the stickers so the stickers are not in here at the moment but this is a super fun read and although it's not Halloween themed but I still feel like Monsters Inc. is a great movie and a great show to show your kids during Halloween. Another new book we've gotten this year is an I Can Read book, which I am a huge fan of I Can Read books. And this is called Spooky Tricks by Rose Weiler and Gerald Ames, pictures by S.D. Schindler. So, like I said, this is an I Can Read book and if you guys don't know, um, I Can Read Books um, actually have a subscription box. So I am subscribed to their subscription box. We have been getting it for like the past couple years now. Absolutely love it. So every single month for $27, you're going to get five I Can Read Books. And you're going to get all of the different levels. So they have like the My First level. They have level one, two, three, four. I think it goes up. Okay, so it goes up to four. So you have different levels there for the I Can Read books, you guys. And this is just like an older version of the I Can Read books, and this is like an updated version. And so for the I Can Read books, for the My First level, is ideal for sharing with emergent readers. Level one is simple sentences for eager new readers. Level two is high interest stories for developing readers. Level three is complex plots for confident readers. And level four is the perfect bridge to chapter books. I, like I said, I'm a huge, huge fan of I Can Read books. So like I said, every month you're going to get five books, you guys. Five books for $27. I feel like that's a really great price. And all of the kids absolutely love when their subscription box comes in. They get to open it and see what books they got that month. Also, another great thing that I love about the I Can Read Book Club is if you get a repeat book, which sometimes you do, it does happen, they will give you your money back. They let you keep the book and they tell you you can give it to a friend or family member, which is amazing. So that is what I do. If I do end up getting a repeat book, I'll get my money back, and then I will usually gift it for a birthday. I am a huge book lover, book giver, so for birthdays I love to give books to kids. Um, so when I do get those repeats, I just save them for birthdays. Um, but anywho, I will leave a link down below to the I Can Read Subscription Book Club if you are interested. Um, definitely check it out. Um, so the I Can Read Book Club actually got transferred over to the Highlights. Um, so if you have ever heard of the, um, of the Highlights Magazine um, Club for Kids, Highlights now took over the I Can Read Subscription Box. But everything is still the same as far as like the price, the books, and policy and everything. Um, so anyways, yeah, Spooky Tricks book. I believe this is one of those, um, like, chapter books. Yes, so it is chapter book. Um, and this is what it looks like inside. So this is also one of those really great books that can help transition your kids to bigger chapter books. Because there's still a lot of pictures in here to keep them engaged, keep them wanting to read at that age range. Um, and it's just super fun. So we've got this one. We actually haven't read it yet. So this is something that we need to um, read this year. And then the next one is another I Can Read book called Duck Duck Dinosaur Perfect Pumpkin. And this is by Kelly George and illustrated by Oriel Vidal. So this book actually came in our subscription box this month, in the month of October, you guys. So I felt like that was definitely on purpose. Super, super fun. We have not read it yet, but we do own a lot of the other Duck Duck Dinosaur books in the I Can Read collection, and they are super, super cute, you guys. So this is what it looks like inside. And this is the My First Level. So as you can see, super simple sentences for those that are just starting out with reading. Next book, you guys, which you will have seen in my Halloween basket haul for my kids, is Popcorn, a Frank Ash Bear story. You guys, this is one of my all-time favorite nostalgic classic books, you guys. Um, I mentioned in my Halloween basket haul that I remember being in like the first or second grade and going to the library and the librarian reading this to us, you guys. It brings back so much nostalgic memories. 
super fun story and there are a lot of books by this author and I definitely want to collect all of them. They are just super fun books. Not only do they transport me back to my childhood, I absolutely love the illustration and I just love the way the author tells the story. So super fun book, you guys, popcorn. Another super fun read is Turkey Trick or Treat by Vindi Silvano and illustrated by Lee Harper. This is a super fun new book series to us. Turkey has a bunch of different books. So we actually have the Easter one. I think we have the Christmas one. Um, I think we also have the Thanksgiving one as well. And this is just a super fun, silly book, you guys. Love it, love it, love it. Everyone in the house loves it. If you hear singing in the background, that is Brody. He is our singer. He loves to sing. Um, and Benjamin also loves to sing. Um, but this book is also has a lot of repetition in it, you guys. Um, so super fun, silly read for the kids. Another super favorite book, you guys. Franklin's Halloween by Paulette Bur... I'm probably going to butcher this name. Burgios? 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 Burgios. <laughs> I don't know. I am so sorry, but there is the author's name there. Burgoyce. Um, Burgoyce. Yeah, maybe. You might be a lot closer than I am. And Brenda Clark. Franklin is a super fun read, you guys. Absolutely love this book. Um, the kids haven't read this book this year. This is actually supposed to go in one of their Halloween baskets. Um, so they are getting to see what books they got this year, which is totally fine. But also, this is a TV show, you guys, and this is a TV show that I grew up on, um, and so this is another one of those getting to read the story and then watch the show or movie after, which I absolutely love. Here is what it looks like inside. Absolutely love Franklin, you guys. If you guys have not watched the TV show or even read the books, I absolutely recommend it because in every story and in every show there is a moral to the story there is a lesson to be told a lesson to be taught and i absolutely love that in children's books and shows so definitely check out franklin you guys a another new find this year is the ugly pumpkin by dave horowitz so we have not gotten to read this yet this is actually going in one of my kids halloween baskets this year um, and so this is what it looks like inside. So this looks like a really fun book um, to read. I also feel like it's maybe going to teach a lesson about it doesn't matter what somebody looks like and probably going to teach a lesson about bullying as well. Um, so this looks like a really good book. I can't wait to read this to my kids. Next book, which I've already showed you is Arthur's Halloween, you guys definitely check it out definitely check out my description box for the activity worksheet that corresponds with this book you guys i will also leave a link down below to the arthur's halloween tv show you guys so check it out check it out um this is super fun to read the book and watch the show afterwards so definitely get some arthur books all right you guys this is a classic you can't have a book collection without the peanuts Charlie Brown, it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown book, you guys. This is an all-time classic, so you already know what it is. We read the story, we watch the movie. Um, and this is by Charles M. Schultz. Illustrations are amazing, absolutely love it. All the kids love this story, and then being able to watch the movie afterwards. So super, super fun to read to your kids before bed, have them watch the movie, get some popcorn out, and just enjoy some good old classic Charlie Brown show, you guys. So definitely grab yourself one of these. All right, another classic, you guys, that I grew up reading, The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this book. And this is by Linda Williams and illustrated by Megan Lloyd. So this book, another repetition book, you guys. So absolutely love that. Another great thing that I also like to implement sometimes is instead of me reading the story to the kids is going on YouTube and finding somebody reading the story to the kids. That's also another great way to engage the kids where they have someone on YouTube 
you know, that is super kid friendly. They have all the fun, you know, themes behind them. Then the kids also get to have the storybook in front of them and follow along. So I absolutely also love that as well. You can also find a lot of audiobooks too. You know, you don't get to see them, you just get to hear them and then the kids can follow along. Also something great to implement in your homeschooling. All right, another fun classic book, you guys, Froggy's Halloween. I love froggy froggy books are so amazing i love them they're silly they're kooky and uh, this is by jonathan london illustrated by frank remkowitz so this is a super fun read you guys and here is what it looks like inside all of my kids love the froggies book collection they are really fun to read all right another story here where's my mummy by Carolyn Crimey and illustrated by John Mander. So we have read this book before. This book is super, super cute. Um, here's what it looks like inside. I absolutely love children's books, you guys. They just have such great illustration in them. Um, but the little mummy loses his mummy and is on a journey to search for her. So this is a super fun read to read to your kiddos. All right, another one that's been in our collection for a while is The Grocery Gang, Your Shopping's Gone Rotten, A Cheap Treats Halloween. You guys, my eight-year-old absolutely loves Grocery Gang. I'm not sure if these are like still around in the stores. I haven't seen them, but they, they come with little toys, um, and they're just like little mini toys, and he has a huge collection of them, you guys. He absolutely loves it. Um, I'm not sure who the author is here. It does not say. I always love to try to give credit to the authors because at the end of the day, this is their book and this is all of their hard work paid out. Um, so I definitely love to give credit to the authors and I love to name who's made the book and who's illustrated the book because they put a lot of hard work and dedication into making these children's books for us to enjoy and implement in our homeschool lives. All right, another book that we've had in our collection for a while is 10 Creepy Monsters by Carrie F. Armstrong Ellis. This is a super fun book for young readers. It teaches numbers. So this is what it looks like inside. Great read, you guys. Great for young, you know, preschool readers getting to learn their numbers in a super fun, monstery way. The Night Before Halloween by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Cynthia Fisher. Love this book. This is a super fun book. I absolutely love all of the Night Before books. So we have a lot of the Night Before books. We have like the Thanksgiving and Christmas and Valentine's Day. I've even picked up some like the Night Before Kindergarten, the Night Before Preschool, um, books like that, the Night Before Graduation even. Um, and so this is what it looks like inside. And so all of the night before Halloween is basically a parody of the night before Christmas and everything that happens throughout their day, throughout the house, the night before, whatever it may be. So in this case, it is Halloween. So super fun book. Another classic, you guys. How Spider Saved Halloween by Robert Krauss. You guys, I grew up on this book. Absolutely love it super fun little read here this is what it looks like i love this illustration because it literally looks like a child made these illustrations colored them in with crown and pencils and it just looks so good it's so cute i love that i love it so this is a super fun read you guys and um spider also has a bunch of different books so it'll be like how spiders save the baseball team how spiders save the flea circus things like that so i definitely want to pick up some more of these books to add to our collection super super old classic vintage books you guys the berenstain bears you guys this was also one of my all-time favorite shows growing up and i've loved the books i love 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 the books this is actually from my childhood you guys so you can see how beat up this book is it's a little beat up a little old the pages are a little bit yellow um but this is from my childhood and this is the bernstein bears trick-or-treat by stan and jan bernstein so you guys 
Berenstain Bears have so many different books and this is only a few of them. There are so many to choose from. They even have them in the I Can Read books as well, which I absolutely love. And one of my biggest reasons for loving the Bernstein Bears now that I'm older is there's always a moral or a lesson to the story. And on the first page of every Bernstein Bear book, you're going to find the moral or the lesson that's going to be told in the story. So in this case, it says, even little bears expect a good fright when they go out for treats on Halloween night. Love it, love it, love it. This book also comes with a corresponding show, so I will link it down below for you guys. Definitely check out this book. Check out the show with your kids. It's so fun and a great way to bond with your kids. All right, another Bernstein Bear book here, and this is a newer one. My mom actually got this for the kids a couple years ago for their Halloween baskets that she made them, and this is Go on a Ghost Walk by Stan and Jan Bernstein. Super, super fun book. There's some other little books there. As you can see, they even have little board books, which I have never seen before. So that is a really interesting. I'd love to pick those up. Um, and then inside, nothing makes a grown-up bear feel more like a cub than ghosts and monsters and lots of Halloween hubbub. Got two more books here. How to Catch a Monster from the New York Times best-selling author and illustrator Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. <coughs> Oh, bless you. Thank you. Um, so currently the kids are coming down with a cold, you guys, which I am super, super sad about because Halloween is right around the corner. So I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that everyone is good to go by Halloween so we can go out and have some fun Halloween trick-or-treating. But if not and plans are have to be changed, the plan is we are going to stay inside and we'll give them their Halloween baskets and we will just watch a bunch of different Halloween movies and probably order in. So either way, we're going to have a fun Halloween day. Um, but How to Catch a Monster is a super fun book, you guys. And this is one of those books where they have a lot of different ones. So we have How to Catch an Easter Bunny, How to Catch an Elf. They even have like How to Catch a Mermaid. They have all kinds of different books. And this is what it looks like inside. Super fun. The kids all love these books. Last one, you guys. Trick or Treat in California. I seen this book. I think we were in Winco. This is by Eric James and Carl West. A Halloween Adventure in the Golden State. So if you don't already know, we reside in California, you guys. So when I seen this book, I definitely had to pick it up. And I absolutely love this book because it goes through a bunch of different states all throughout California. It's about a little alien that lands on Earth and he goes through all of the different states and cities in California, you guys. So this is a super fun book if you are from California. And you know what? We were in Target the other day and I seen one of these for Seattle. So I believe they have different books of these for different cities and states. So Definitely check out this author and see if you can find some other books maybe in your state where you're located. That is it for all of my baby, toddler, kid, board books, and kid books. Now we're going to get on to some chapter books, you guys. Super fun reads here. So first up, we've got the good old classic R.L. Stein Goosebumps books. And these are the TV episodes. So as you can see there on the front cover, you have uh, pictures from the show itself. Benjamin absolutely loves Goosebumps. Me and Benjamin are currently actually watching the new Goosebumps series, you guys, that came out on Disney+. Plus. If you have not watched it yet, you guys, we're on episode three, and we are hooked, huh, Benjamin? Yeah. We are yeah. hooked. It's the it, best yeah, thing ever. Yeah, hooked. it is so good. So, so good. So I highly recommend checking it out. Um, but these are just the old, original Goosebumps books from the show. And they are based on the hot new TV series on Fox. That's how old these books are, you guys. I actually picked these up from a, um, a thrift book store in Pismo when we went to Pismo Beach. We have TV episode number one, The Girl Who Cried Monster. And then TV episode number two, The Cuckoo Clock of Doom. So this is what it looks like inside. Anytime that I am looking at books, I always love to see if what it looks like inside because I want to see 
how the words are and if it is the right type of book for me or my children. Um, so in these books, you actually get some inserts from the show itself, which is pretty cool. I actually, I really like that. Um, so we've got two of these classic um, Goosebumps books. All right, we also have a newer Goosebump book by R.L. Stein called Deep Trouble. Now a major motion picture, which is pretty cool. So here is what it looks like inside. So as you can see, this one is a bit more of a read and I don't think there are any pictures. No, there's no pictures in this book. So this book, Benjamin actually got from his uncle. Um, so super fun read. As you can see, this is the next book in the series of this newer Goosebump series called Creep from the Deep. I used to have all of the Goosebump series, you guys, growing up. I really wish I had that whole collection because my family visited Arizona one time me and my mom went to a thrift store down in Arizona and I found pretty much damn near the whole collection of Goosebumps and my mom bought them for me. And I was a huge Goosebumps lover growing up. And you guys, I really wish I still had all of those books because I would have gifted them to Benjamin, but I no longer have them, but that is okay. We can go on the hunt for Goosebumps books from thrift stores to redo the collection, which is super fun. All right, you guys, another super fun classic chapter book. Black Lagoon Adventures, The Halloween Party from the Black Lagoon by Mike Thaler, illustrated by Jared Lee. Absolutely love these books. These books are so funny, so kooky, so silly. And I love the illustrations in them. So Benjamin absolutely loves these kinds of books where it has lots of illustration like this. Your kids are just getting into chapter books. These are super fun reads for them, you guys, that are still going to keep them engaged. Another fun chapter book here is The Loud House Ghost There by Carla Sackis Shropshire. The Loud House, you guys. So this is a Nickelodeon TV show, if you guys probably have seen it, if you guys have kids. Um, and this is what it looks like inside. I'm not sure if there's pictures. Let's see if there's any pictures in here. Um, so actually you do get a, quite a couple pages that look like this, which is pretty neat. I absolutely love pages that look like that. I think it definitely helps keep the kids engaged. Um, so super, super fun. And there is a lot of um, chapter books by The Loud House, you guys. So definitely check that out. All right, another one we have here is Cartoon Network, Scooby-Doo and the Carnival Creeper by James Gelsey. Super, super fun read, you guys. I absolutely love Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon chapter books. So this is what it looks like inside. Absolutely love that there is pictures there for the kids. Super fun read. I would say this is a little bit more um, like middle intermediate um, level chapter book, you guys. But nonetheless, a super fun read. And yes, I will also read these chapter books, you guys. Like I said, I'm a book lover of all kinds of books. Junie B. Jones, you guys, super fun reads. This little girl is so silly, always getting herself into trouble, but she always learns a lesson at the end. There's baby girl. So this is by- hello. Say hello. Hello. Say hello, mommy. Hello. This is by- hello. I don't know if I'll be able to get through the rest of this video, you guys. She just woke up from a nap. Hi, mom. <laughs> She is sicky, so as you can see, her nose is running. She is sick, like I said, so her nose is probably going to be constantly running throughout the rest of this video. Um, so I'm going to try to hurry up. I'm almost done here, but these are by Barbara Park, and I've got Junie B, first grader, boo, and I mean it. And Junie B Jones has a monster under her bed. This is what it looks like inside. And there are pictures in the books as well. Absolutely love this book. And I feel like Junie B. Jones is one of those books that is very universal for both boys and girls. I'm going to give her a book to hopefully keep her busy. Last books that I have here, you guys, is a new series that my sister had actually got for Benjamin. Um, I believe for Christmas one year. And she got him like the first four books. Um, so let me put them in order here. So there are 10 books total, you guys, in the Erie Elementary books. So these are the Erie Elementary books by Jack Chabert, New York Times best-selling author. 
do excuse if you hear the kids talking, if you hear baby girl talking. Yep. She is awake now and she is flipping through this book. Super excited, you guys. I told you. I told you. She absolutely loves books. <laughs> Good book. You got a book. Okay. <laughs> so the Airy Elementary Books is a new series. Not sure how long it's been around, but it is a new series to us and Benjamin absolutely loves it you guys i even love it i have to ask him what's going on what happened in this chapter because it's so good he is actually on the ninth book so he only has one more to go like i said there are 10 total in the series so number one we have airy elementary the locker ate lucy and i will just go ahead and show you guys what it looks like inside lots of illustrations you guys they are in black and white which i think is very unique Super fun, easy read for intermediate chapter book readers, you guys. So, The Locker Ate Lucy. The school is alive. Recess is a jungle. Science fair is freaky. School freezes over. Sam battles the machine. Classes are canceled. All monitors are fired. The art show attacks. And of Orson and Eerie. Who knows? Maybe there might be more. I don't know. But why do I have these in my Halloween collection? You guys, this series, the boy becomes the hall monitor of the school and the school is alive and is constantly trying to attack the kids, beat the kids, all kinds of crazy things. So I feel like it is a super fun, spooky read for Halloween, you guys. So that is all of the books that I have in my Halloween homeschool collection this year, you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching all the different fun Halloween books, you guys. Like I said, check out my description below for TV shows, movies corresponding to some of these books, worksheets, activities, arts and crafts that correspond to some of these books. Also, check out my Halloween playlist for lots of other fun Halloween videos. Also, don't forget, I am going to be leaving a link to the I Can Read subscription book club and Thrift Books and Book Outlet. So both Thrift Books and Book Outlet are pre-used thrift book stores online. You're going to get books for an amazing price that you're not going to find anywhere else. So if you are a book lover, homeschooler, these sites are going to be for you, you guys. So I will leave a link down to my Thrift Book link. Sign up for Thrift Books using my link and you guys are going to get a free book as long as you spend over $30. So win-win situation you guys get a free book and i get a free book you guys can't beat it who doesn't want a free book especially if you're a book lover like me and if you, you if you sign up for book outlet using my link below if you spend 25 dollars or more you're going to get five dollars off your purchase you guys can't beat it that's a free book right there because a lot of good books in there under five dollars you guys so you're basically getting a free book so Definitely check out my links below. Sign up using my link to get your free books and $5 off, you guys. Check out Thrift Books. Check out Book Outlet. I'm in no way sponsored to say any of this, you guys. I am just a super big bookworm. I'm a super big book lover, and I absolutely love Thrift Books and Book Outlet. I'm constantly on there adding things to my wish list and buying things from them, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this book haul. Stay tuned and be on the lookout for my first ever book outlet haul for you guys. You guys, I'm super, super excited. So, thank you guys so much for watching my Halloween book haul, you guys. I hope it gave you guys lots of inspiration for your guys' bookshelves, for your homeschool needs, and for Halloween this year, you guys. Happy Halloween to everybody. I hope everyone has a super fun and safe halloween you guys don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already if you are you are amazing thank you for supporting us thank you guys for being here and until next time